cookies. We're getting into lesson nine. Um, I love lesson nine because we were working on some conversions. We've done conversions a few times this year. Um, I think this is like the third time that we're doing this. And we're doing these conversions very algebraically, meaning we're using <clears throat> algebra. And, but we're not saying that we're using algebra. I mean, no one is except for me, of course. Uh, what we're really doing is we're trying to find some missing parts and we're going to use that awesome um, unpack, what is it? Unpack, convert, solve. So the UCS uh, rhythm that I think I actually invented myself. So let's take a look uh, at some moments here, guys. Okay, guys, we are getting into lesson nine. Um, and in lesson nine, like I just said, we are going to be doing um, our, U, we're going to be using our UCS method in which we unpack, we convert, and then we solve. It's these three steps, exact same way every single time. So let's go ahead and do our unpack step. Unpacking requires no thinking. All we have to do is unpack what we're given. We're given five-sixths of a year, and we're transitioning that into months. So our pack step, our first step, our unpack step, is just unpacking what we have. So we have five-sixths of a year. So five-sixths of a year is equal to five-sixths times one year. We are officially unpacked. Don't overthink it. Next... Cool. So we're done with unpacking. Next, we're going to convert. And this is where we have to start being more thoughtful. We don't have to really, I mean, do too much work because all we're going to do is bring down our five sixths of a year. That's what we're starting with. And now we're going to multiply it by some amount of months. Again, we're converting to months. So this is where we're going to actually start converting. We want to take our years to months. So we're going to multiply five six times some amount of months that, turn your head sideways, are equal to one year. So one year is equal to, yes, you guys know that, 12 months. Great. Convert is done. Now our final step, you guys, all we have to do is solve. So now we're going to find a fraction of 12. So what do we have upstairs? We have 5 times 12. And then what do we have downstairs? We have 6. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this. This is what we worked on today in class. I'm noticing that I can divide 12 by 6 and I can divide 6 by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Simplifying is so helpful because now I have a really simple calculation to do. All I have to do is 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. We have that over 1. You guys know that 10 over 1 is the same as 10. So 5 6 of a year, you guys, is equal to 10 months. Very cool. Let's take a look at a couple more here, guys. Okay, buds, we have another um, conversion here. We are going to unpack first, and then we will convert, and then we will solve. So here we are. We're starting with four-fifths four fifths of a meter, and then we're converting that into centimeters. So unpack. Don't overthink it. Just unpack what we are starting with. We're starting with four-fifths of a meter. That is equal to four-fifths times one meter. Unpacking. All we're doing is just unpacking what we're starting with. Done. Convert. Now we're going to bring down that four-fifths, and we're going to multiply four-fifths by some amount of centimeters, because we're converting to centimeters that, tilt your head to the side, are equal to a meter. So think about, you guys, when I'm holding a meter stick. So one meter stick is equal to how many centimeters? 100. Beautiful. Okay, convert is done. We've set up our conversion. Now all we have to do, you guys, is solve. Upstairs, we're looking at 4 times 100. Downstairs, we have a denominator of 5. Um, let's think about what is 400 divided by 5. Well, 400 divided by 5. I'm not, notice I'm not simplifying here. Um, 
there's so many different ways we can do that. I want to show you both. Um, four, well, I know four times one is four, but we have one, two zeros that we need to carry along. So four times 100 is 400. 400 is going to be over five. Let's go ahead and simplify that. We can do this in our head. Let's think about hmm, 40 divided by five. Well, I know 40 divided by five is eight, but that's not 40, it's a 400. So we need to bring a zero along with us. Let's make sure that agrees with logic. Let's just check ourselves. Oh, all those posters I hung up just <laughs> fell down. What is 80 times five? Well, eight times five is 40. And then we're bringing another zero along. The recess bell just rang. Four fifths of a meter, you guys, is equal to 80 centimeters. Very, very cool. Let's check out a word problem. Also within this lesson, you guys, not only are we converting, but we're also using uh, those conversions to solve word problems. So I could not help but grab a word problem um, as our final uh, piece of today's video. And I'm going to use our friend Kira in this word problem. So we are going to be unpacking, converting, and solving, but we're also still going to be read, drawing, and writing. So many acronyms. Okay, so let's read this. At the market, Kira bought three-fourths LB stands for pounds of grapes and five-eighths of a pound of cherries. How many ounces of grapes did... Kira, bye. Okay, so here, I'm actually in class tomorrow, you guys. I'm going to provide you with this really handy conversion sheet. Um, so you do not have to memorize every single conversion. Uh, I'm going to be providing those to you, but what you do need to memorize is this fabulous way, the fabulous way in which we convert um, our I don't know, anything. Ounces to pounds, uh, kilometers to meters. You need to understand the process, but things like these, these conversion factors, I will provide these to you. So we are looking to convert here our pounds to ounces, and specifically we're looking at grapes. So let's first go ahead and unpack. So what are we starting with? We're starting with three-fourths of a pound of grapes. So three-fourths is equal to, and this is a step where you're promising me not to overthink it, three-fourths of a pound is equal to three-fourths times one pound. Okay, unpack, done. Now we're going to start our conversion. So we're just going to bring down the three-fourths. So here's our conversion step. Three-fourths times some amount of ounces. We want to convert to ounces here. So some amount of ounces that is equal to one pound. Again, I provided that information to you or for you. So one pound, you guys, is equal to 16 ounces. This conversion step, whatever we're converting to, must be equal to uh, what we're starting with. So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Awesome. Now we have finished our conversion step. Now we're going to do our solving step which means we just have to evaluate what's going on here. We have 3 fourths times 16, which means we have 3 times 16 up top. And then what do we have on the bottom? We have 4. Let's simplify. I'm noticing that I can divide 4 by 4, and I can also divide 16 by 4. This is what we worked on today in class. Simplifying makes our life easier in the end. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So nice that we did that because now all we have to do in order to solve this, you guys, is think about what is 3 times 4. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. So how many ounces of grapes did Kira buy? She purchased 12 ounces of grapes. Very cool. Okay, let's look at our next section. I feel like I've been choosing that color a lot. Um, now we're looking at how many ounces. So Kira purchased um, cherries and grapes. So we just worked on the grapes. Now we're going to work on the cherries. We're going to start with unpacking. 
we are starting with five eighths of a pound of cherries. So let's go and un go ahead and unpack those cherries. Five eighths of a pound of cherries is equal to again. Don't overthink this. Five eighths times one pound. That's all. We're unpacked. Now let's convert. In our convert step, we're going to bring down whatever number uh, we were given in the first place. And now we're going to multiply 5 eighths times some amount of ounces that, when you turn your head sideways, is equal to 1 pound. Well, that's exactly what we just did. So we know that 16 ounces are equal to 1 pound. Great. So that conversion step is in place. Now we need to solve or evaluate. So in our solve step, we're looking at 5 eighths times 16. So our numerator is going to look at 5, like 5 times 16. And then our denominator is 8. Let's go ahead and simplify here. I'm noticing, guys, that I can divide 8 and 16 by 8. So I'm going to cross them off cross those numbers out and replace them with something more simple. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. So now all we're looking at is 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10, and that is over 1. We know that 10 over 1 is the same as 10. So how many ounces of cherries did she buy? Well, Kira bought 10 ounces of cherries. Very cool. One last piece here. Let's go ahead and change our color. Um, how many more ounces of grapes than cherries did Kira buy? Well, I don't think this one's going to be super tough. So we have, um, we have 12 ounces of grapes. And then we have 10 ounces of of cherries. So clearly we have more grapes than cherries. How much more? Well, 12 minus 10, you guys. Two. Kira has two ounces, uh, two ounces more grapes than cherries. Uh, I want you guys to check in the secret word tomorrow. Actually, it's secret words. And these are the secret words that you're going to check in. These are such important words. These are the words that are going to guide us through these conversions. U C S. I need you tomorrow when you're checking in secret word. I need you to share with our homework checkers what U C S stands for. Also, I want you guys to have a great afternoon and I will see you in the morning. Bye for now.